Okay, so there's going to be some stuff here where the wings pop out. We can take a, you know, just a whatever. Just throw some little gappy thing in there. And then we've got all this sort of layered carapace and the arms. So the, whatever these are, arms and legs, or maybe they're all legs. I don't know. Uh, but we're still... Let's just make sure we've got... This is all just clay tubes. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm uh, doing my... I want to make sure I'm doing my best to replicate uh, the forms that are available here in the reference before I tuck into too much detail. So we're just looking at the silhouette. A nice bulge there. Not as much of a space there. Definitely at this point in the, in the, in the process, it's a good idea to just stay, stay loose. Don't get too attached to anything. This is probably in the wrong place. So I've got this this stuff here, which isn't really. I guess it's that piece there. So let's say it looks like it's kind of coming right to the middle of the eye. A bit of, uh, clay tubes. Um, probably there's some kind of a distinction, obviously, like between these two forms. But I wanted to make this stuff that kind of. Kind of like cloth. So we'll just be mindful of how that's going to fit in there. I'm going to go ahead and dynamesh it again. Looks like my dynamesh has been disabled. And I'll increase my resolution because probably, yeah, we're going to be just losing stuff there. So I'll go ahead and set this to 256. Dynamesh it again. So it's asking me here if I want to keep my subdivisions. Like it'll it'll try to basically build those subdivisions into the dynamesh so that I can go to a lower one. I don't need it, so I'm just going to say no. And you can see it gets rid of the, the uh, that other subdivision, which is completely okay. So let's see. We'll grab damn standard, and there's like this little, little grill thing there. I'm gonna probably increase my intensity just a little bit. And I don't know something. I'm seeing this thing here. So just holding Alt to get that to go in the other direction. And here we have this like, I don't know, there's some kind of a pattern on there. And I'm gonna go to the side. I like this big forehead thing. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of missing that. I've always thought these bugs had interesting shapes. They're like little bombers. So, whatever. Doesn't seem like there's as much of a, a shape change here as what I've got. So I'm just gonna I'm just kind of fill that in here. Play tubes. And then down here on the bottom side, let's just start figuring out some of these things. So we probably, I'm going to use this as the, as the rough idea for what the legs are going to do. Something that's kind of convenient is having a, a camera angle that you can return to. So what I'm going to do is go to movie and timeline. And we'll go ahead and click show and we get this feature here. So the way this works is if I click on one of these little ticks or really anywhere down here in this field, it's going to give me a camera position that I can return to. So if I come over here and I'm doing whatever, and then I want to do a, get back to my one-to-one, -one, I can just kind of click over here. So I think these might be my undos. No. Okay. Right. So if you just grab this, this, these are the undos right down here. So if you just grab a little square, it'll return to your your safe ca uh, camera angle, and you can actually do a few of them, right? So if you do this, it'll animate between the two. But uh, I really only need the one there because I want to have uh, as close to a reference, a consistent reference for the position of the, the features here as, as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this one and drag it into the workspace so that'll make it go away. So as soon as you click here, it's just going to go back to uh, where you were. All right, so let's let's just make some real quick, real crude leg shapes here. And there's about 10,000 ways that we could do it. 
But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cicada because why not? We'll duplicate it and shrink it way down. It's like definitely in the way here. And whatever. So I'll go ahead and dynamesh this at a lower resolution. Grab the move brush. All right, so so using this uh, this technique of of just grabbing something that kind of already exists in the scene, we inherit a lot of randomness that we might not have otherwise had access to. And now I'm just going to kind of stick it in here. But so right now, um, I think maybe I can. So that's going to scale it. What I'd like to do. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to move it according to the camera view, so you can see we get these, these outside ones here. So it looks like. There's probably, so like this is gonna be the bicep or upper arm area. This is the lower arm area. And like, let's call this like the wrist or something. So what that means is there's actually another one of these up here. I'm gonna hold control and drag and that'll allow me to make a new one. And one of the things, like I'm gonna keep these separate from the body probably the whole time. But you want to make sure you don't have like little armpits that you can't get into. So these are on the same sub tool right now. I'm going to go ahead and dynamesh them together. Look at the front view. The This outside ring is going to rotate according to the camera, like whatever the camera view is. So we'll just kind of whatever. Get this somewhat scooted in and then I'm going to rotate it out just so it's nice and easy to work with. And now we'll go ahead and do a mirror on it. Sorry, mirror and weld. So that's modified topology in the geometry tab. Mirror and weld. Okay, now I'm going to just use my move brush and we'll just grab some some of those little pieces there and whatever, or something like that. And I'm going to do an inflate on this. I probably don't need my IM and primitive, so we'll grab inflate, load up, and then dynamesh. So very quick and easy. Start to begin. So now that's, that goes down to there. So whoops, maybe another, another move, but I'm going to actually hold off on adding too much more detail. Let's see what the the reference tells us in terms of how things are coming along. Okay, so I want to rotate it in and up. And you want to be careful that these don't actually touch. I'm going to do a rotate out a little bit. All right, let's go back to the move brush. I'm going to kind of pull these out and then I'm going to use my, uh, my masking here. I've got mask lasso, hold control, invert it, tap the W key. If I hold alt and click on the surface, it'll orient the uh, little transform gizmo perpendicular to wherever I click which uh, is going to be just fine because what I'm trying to do here is I want this to be from the front, it's going to be a little more vertical, a little more of a, like a 90 degree angle. And now I think we'll do the same thing with like this area. I'm going to invert it, click over there. Just figuring this out. Let's go back to the ref. So we're a little close in the elbow area. They are probably kind of close, but it feels like it's still off a bit. Let me recalculate the Dynamesh by doing a control and dragging off and whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect right out of the gate. That's probably going to be just fine. Again, we're just kind of looking for inspiration here from these natural forms and arrangements, not the uh, exact replication.
All right, so let's go ahead and make the next leg. I'm just gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna treat this as a separate subtool, so we'll go over here and hit duplicate. And this has, it looks to me like it's pointing in the complete opposite direction. So we'll just do something like this. And maybe it's, let's go to the reference. This one is more oriented like this. And we'll pull it out just a little bit. And then we'll do one more. which we'll just kind of scoot back and then rotate in the, in the other direction. One of the things that I like about hard surface geometry as a little bit of a shortcut is replicated forms are, or, or uh, replicate, duplicated forms is, is uh, one, of the, one of the tricks that makes something look kind of robotic and cool. So you see that same idea with insects a lot of the time. So we'll use that to our advantage. Okay, we'll continue this in the next video.